Hey, hello everyone. Sorry for not making videos for a while, just I've been kind of getting annoyed by YouTube shenanigans and it's been kind of getting to me, so I thought I would take a break and the break kind of lasted a while. <laughs> but don't worry, I'll get back to making regular videos soon. But for now, let me do the usual what I got for Christmas video, starting with... You probably could have guessed this, couldn't you? The... <laughs> The usual Axe full on collection gift set type dealio. Happy little accidents, Bob Ross game! Do a doodle. Someone builds off that doodle, you get some points! Whoa! And also, the cover is, uh, um, I don't know if you can tell, uh, you probably can't tell, but there's actually a texture where the beard and the afro is. Like, listen to this. Yeah, it's like a fuzzy texture. <laughs> Speaking of Bob Ross... It's the Happy Trees University shirt! I need some better lighting. <laughs> yeah, it's decent. I got like, really large cast shadows across that, but you can see how it is. And Bob Ross in space! Plus it looks a lot like paint splattery and stuff like that. Very, very cool and artistic. Might the tag flopped over there. That's okay! Now for the games! <laughs> Super Bomberman R! It is most certainly... Classic Bomberman at its finest with the top-down grid-based type dealio going on there. It is tremendously fun, just as you would expect from Bomberman Classic. I'm quite enjoying it. <laughs> I have not played it, but I have it. Super Mario Party with tons and tons of games. I also have not played it yet, but Psychonauts on the PlayStation 2, a cult classic. That's all the games I got, though. You're like, what? There's usually a lot more. Well, it's kind of a dry spell at the moment. <laughs> so, well, I mean, there, there are a couple of hit games, I guess you could say. You know, like the holiday games to get such as Smash Ultimate and Pokemon Let's Go. But uh, Let's Go looks like watered-down Pokemon. I'm not really a fan of fighting games in general, even if it's Smash. So it's like, eh. <laughs> So that's kind of out. But I do have one thing that I ordered for not just myself, but also you guys as well. Behold, the Avermeter, <laughs> Avermedia Easy Recorder 130, or ER130. You can capture HD video from anything that uses HDMI, complete with a 32 gigabyte flash drive included. I estimate that I can get around four hours of recording time with that, so that is quite sufficient. So yeah, and I can record the Nintendo Switch, uh, better quality, so that you can actually read the text in uh, Wii U games. I can also, I suppose, play Wii games on that as well, and you know, upscale them through the Wii U and whatnot. Uh, also, the SNES Classic, that's that's another thingy too, so yeah, and it works pretty dang good. And you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to show you how well that thing works. What do you say? <laughs> there she is, all connected up. Although I got to redo my cables on <laughs> the upper tier again, because I want to want to put this like over here. But there's, it's so tight where I have the cables right now that it just won't make it there. So yeah, <laughs> it comes with a little remote and there's your 32 gigabyte um, thumb drive. And yeah, let's get it going on the BenQ monitor. Whoa, look at this clarity. It's incredible. Yeah, I found out 
about this newfangled thing called 1080p HD or something like that. I, I forgot what they call it. It's kind of a silly name. But it apparently has a higher resolution? Yeah, resolution being like the pixel counter. I, I'm, I'm not all too sure about that myself, but it does seem to look better. I, I, I can't can't point out why. Maybe I'll figure it out later. So anyway, Pikmin 3 story, I go over to day three over here, because why not? Exploration day three, typed out in notepad. Mm -hmm. You finally discover edible matter. Whoa, we can actually read the text. Huh. After close analysis, my conclusion is that the fruit juice is delicious. Yes, it is. I never tasted anything like that on Kapai. We need to continue our search. If there is more to be had, we should have it. Right. Let's focus all of our energy on finding more fruit than absolutely nothing else. We still need the cosmic drive key. We can't get home without that. Right. Let's focus all our energy on retrieving fruit and the key and absolutely nothing else. <laughs> the captain. We still need to find the captain as well. Right, uh, so I'll just get the food, the key, and the captain. So anything else I'm forgetting? Nope. Okay, we're good. We're... What's that signal coming from over there? I sincerely hope it's the captain. Let's hurry over there and find out. Good idea. He might be hogging all the fruit for himself. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and land in the Garden of Hope and start day three. I kind of went ahead a few days here on my replay of the game just to kind of speed things along text-wise and whatnot, because this is kind of where the game gets less cutscene-y and more gameplay-y. <laughs> so it's raining. Let's get this going. Let's get our plucks going here too. I just kind of mash that A button and I stop mashing the A button and both Elf and Brittany get to up and all those Pikmin. It's a real-time strategy game and yeah we gotta make the most of our time so let's get everyone out. Everyone! There's still a couple of things on the field I can tell because I, I, I kind of forgot where they were since I last played this song. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I just I just got this prepared a couple days ago. It's because like when I ordered the thing, the thing wasn't here, and yeah, I just thought I would prepare ye old game going on here. So I thought, hey, yeah, it seems like a good idea to get that all set up and raring to go. So I got the control set over to uh, classic as well, so that you can see where my pointer is. Otherwise, I'd be using the stylus controls on the Wii U gamepad. Uh, yeah, just a, just a little bit so that you can compare as to where I'm aiming, that otherwise you wouldn't be able to tell where my thumb is in relation to the screen and whatnot. So yeah. And speaking of comparison, I thought I would also play this game again to kind of compare it to a certain random gameplay that I also uh, did in the past. So yeah, it's, it's just looking a little a little different than when I played that game at one time, doesn't it? Uh, doesn't it? Hello there, data file. Look at this, you can actually read this on screen? Unbelievable! Red Pikmin are good fighters. That is good to know. Yeah, they have high attack power. They are the blue eyes white dragon of the Pikmin world. And there's another data file over here that I might as well go ahead and grab over here. Do, 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 do. Red Pikmin are resistant to fire, but not electric electricity like this fence. Danger! Danger! Some high voltage there will instantly kill Pikmin. And what are what is this tape on the ground? This silly structure. It looks like an arrow and an X. There are materials for constructing a bridge on the opposite shore. If I work together with Brittany, I think we can get that bridge built. Hmm, so how do we do this? Oh, I know, they must be hinting at throwing Pikmin over to the other side! So let's throw them all over there, sure, why not? <laughs> Alright everyone, get on over there! It's, it's sluggish, I know, uh, but I can't like do a mass attack or anything like that because I it's there's a whole wall in issue and look at this you can even throw Brittany over there as well I know I know 
Alright, so you switch over with the Y button and look at this pile of stuff. I'm gonna lock onto that with ZL and then press B to charge! Everyone, grab a piece! And as for the rest of you, I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys over here, switch to a Rock Pikmin with the L button, and get to destroying this crystalline structure. Because why not? <laughs> Alright everyone, grab a piece too! There you go, the other one should be returning to their starting locations by now. Yeah, I thought as much. Um, maybe I'll just go ahead and wait over here for the other Pikmin to go by. I'll switch to the other captain, wait for these duders to finish, and call it a bridge! Yeah, baby! Alright, everyone? Okay. <laughs> Everyone, together now! Yay! Yay! Oh, man. Oh, man. Cutscene. The signal must be coming from there. Hmm. I wonder. Could it be? Could it be? Well, what I do know is... Charge! You can also, also throw a rock picking at the wall. That'll do just fine. As, as you've seen, they them destroy that crystal structure as well. But, eh, you can get them to charge just as well this way too, because why not? It seems like a good idea. Wait, how'd, you, how'd some of you guys get behind the wall? <laughs> Would you jump over it or whatnot? Oh, no, 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 guys, guys. Okay, everyone, thank you. <laughs> All right, I got my 90 out of 97 still. This other seven are probably in the ground somewhere. Hmm? Huh? It's a data file doing all the way out here. Hmm. Hmm? My search for treasure continues with no luck, but I can't fly back home to Hakatate without procuring a few priceless artifacts. I'm sensing something valuable up ahead, but I'm also sensing danger. So if someone finds this data file, please send word to my son that I didn't make it. Captain Olimar. Hmm. Hmm. Who's this Captain Olimar? I can't say I've heard of him, but he's from Hakatate. Huh? That's not far from Kapai, a strange planet. I've heard that Hakatitans, or Hakatatians, that's it, it's, yeah, it's a mouthful, will do anything to get their hands on treasure. And they eat vegetables too. How bizarre. Poor fellow. Sounds like he ran into trouble up ahead. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Doesn't look that ominous. Hmm. Yeah, it should be perfectly safe. Sure, let's go in there. Let's just see here. Do, 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 do. Eh. Not a bad feeling about this. Yeah, that seems okay. Mm, maybe what I should do is kind of dismiss my Pikmin around these around these parts here to clear some stuff out. So yeah, just kind of just kind of clear the way here to speed things along. To get things. Yeah, there we go. Just to, just to make things a little bit easier here, and then I'll go ahead and. Uh, this, oops, I was going to say dismiss them right at about this door here. There we go. And I'll go on up here. Oh, oh boy. Okay, they're, they're right about sensing the danger. I was wrong. I was wrong. This thing looks pretty dangerous. But what is it? What is it? Well, let's find out. Wait, wait. Why did, why did you guys follow me? Here it comes! Here's a data file over here. I'm just gonna kinda grab that really quick. This is its name. It is known as the Armored Maudad. Its exoskeleton is made of crystal. Use Rock Pikmin to smash it. Okay. I got Rock Pikmin because they came along with me for some reason. Who knows why they did? Who knows? But yeah, it's more focus on the captain than anything. That's why I'm not too concerned about having this couple here. And it's soft on the inside. That's our second hint as to how to defeat it. So let's just go ahead here and uh, and you know grab other rock Pikmin. Just kind of just a couple of them. I don't want it to be too too difficult to manage or anything like that. So let's just go ahead and wait for it to stop and throw it on its noodle or body wherever you guys want to go just as long as it's not in its mouth or anything like that that would be kind of kind of dangerous I'll just focus on one segment I guess here uh, yeah I'll do two yeah I, I, oh, oh, guys 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 no 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 don't 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 get disorganized here at this point we're in a big time beginner boss battle here <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no! I think I got a couple. Well, uh, well, yeah, I got two. Dang it! It doesn't really kill all that many Pikmin at once, as it's the beginner boss. If it gets in its mandibles, but uh, you know, it's you, you still gotta conserve your Pikmin. I mean, you, you just can't let them get eaten the whole time. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 I want to go and stop, please, stop, so I can aim at a specific segment. There we go, there we go, and get them all together. And I'll just let you circle around. And there we go, I'll just keep attacking the same segment. There we go, soft spot has been opened up. Like a pro. And it's, well, I guess I could throw stuff on there, why not? Well, well, oh, yeah, I'm not in touchscreen controls. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Alright, everyone together. Everyone together. Can I throw you up there? Nah, not really. Not really. <laughs> Alright. Oh, jeez, we're at half day. We're at half day. Well, midday. <laughs> half day is fast. Uh, wait. Where's my... Oh, okay, here we go. No, 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 you don't. No, 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 no. Oh, well. Well, uh, well. I can I can sort of kind of save him a little bit there, kind of. Oh, it's kind of stuck in its mandible, but it's not being eaten by said mandible. It's only like when it gets in between those two tips there that it actually seems to do something, as far as I can tell. Anyway, that stop being stop being inactive, guys. No, nope, stop that. <laughs> it's like it's they're they're screwing me with being as inactive as they are. <laughs> That's okay though, I suppose. I'm just kind of kind of trying to focus on that big plate on its head, because that's its uh, a main weak point, I guess you could say. Mm, yeah. Alright, everyone. Alright, everyone. Everyone together again. <laughs> I'm also trying not to use too many Pikmin, as, uh, you know, kind of difficult to handle that many at once. <laughs> Everyone's scattered around again. <laughs> Why, guys? Why? <laughs> Okay, maybe I should go ahead and grab some more rocks. And just dodge them off to the side there. There we go. Well, I gotta... Well, mm, no, that's okay. That's, that's okay. I got 13 rocks to go around here. Maybe I can get that head plate off now. Uh, not quite. Yeah, that, the head plate seems to be the most durable one. <laughs> oh, it's got two in there. Oh, it's the tongue! It's not the mandibles, it's the tongue. Oh, no, no, I don't want the red ones. Well... I guess I got the red ones now. <laughs> I reached too far with my whistle. Uh, okay, and stop wetting your whistle for my Pikmin. You're not gonna get any more of them. Okay, you probably are, because I'm, I'm playing like an amateur here. <laughs> uh, I, I guess maybe I should just take whatever, whatever body segment I can break apart. Yeah. Oh, there we go! That's what I was looking for. Oh, me, me, everyone, everyone, focus, everyone. So, there we go. Okay. No, nope, no. Nope. Inactive. Inactive. The red one. You're doing nothing. <laughs> All right. There we go. Now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait for it to stop. And now I'm gonna mass throw them on the head like so. How oh, you like those apples? Oh, knock me out. <laughs> Thank you. Making me unconscious, losing my opportunity. Attack the body! Eee! Eee! Yeah, because now that I got that big head plate off, I got a pretty big weak point unearthed there to throw Pikmin onto it in mass, which is my plan all along! Okay. <laughs> By the way, that beeping sound that's that's uh, kind of in the music there reminds me of my camera's activation shutter. It has that, that same tone of beep. And I'm th every time I hear that, I think that the camera's shutting off, but it's not, obviously. <laughs> it just—it just kind of, kind of startling me a little bit there. All right, everyone. All right, everyone, get it, get it together here. <laughs> we're on the, we're on the final, final throws here. Oh, there it is. I found it. And oh, you get. Oh no, no, don't. You guys are kind of slow. I swear. <laughs> I wonder if I should do a charge. That might be helpful. Like, uh, yeah, do something like that, maybe. Oh, it got a lot of Pikmin that time. Oh, poopers. Alright, everyone, back together, back together. You're just getting scattered all over the place. It's just chaos. 
Just nastiness all around. Oh, everyone go, everyone go, 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 go. Okay. <laughs> Alright, lock on the charge. Why would you attack that? Why would... Like, why would you attack that spot of all places? Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to throw him at its bo at his head manually. <laughs> Just, that's how the game is making me do things, I suppose. So I might as well embrace it. Oh, got a lot of them in its mouth there, but that should be, well... I should be able to kill it off anyway before uh, Sun, though. Yeah! Woo! This is more like a test video, more than anything anyway. <laughs> If I made a walkthrough on this, I'd be... I'd practice it a whole lot more, and I'm super rusty now. This was emitting that signal. What does this mean for the captain's whereabouts? I guess for now, we should take this back to the Drake for analysis. It might be of some use to us. Yeah, sure. Just go ahead and lock onto that. Charge. There you go. <laughs> I can also, um... I should actually grab a couple more off of that. Yeah, just like an... Oops. Just so I can get a couple of critters on that, but a whole bunch of critters on that. No, 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 I want, I want lockies, chargies, okay. <laughs> and I also gotta make sure that all of my inactive Pikmin that got flung around here like mad are not still here. <laughs> okay, alright, there we go. If they are, um... Not gonna make it by sundown, I suppose. I will just call him back. But look at look at this! It only takes 20 Pikmin to carry this massive critter back to the ship. That that just doesn't seem right. <laughs> but I will I will accept this. Because it, it means we've got maximum efficiency going on our side. Actually, I could put a couple actually one more Pikmin on that uh, on the cell phone there, I think it was. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it wasn't a cell phone, maybe it was a data giblet thingy. Uh, um, uh, how did... Where did this... How did... Did you switch places some... How did... No, I just got really far ahead, okay. <laughs> I forgot about that, but it takes them a little longer than me to make the black screen transitions, I guess. But then, wait, where is that piece of fruit that I was having them carry back? Hold on. <laughs> just, just so I don't leave any of the critters behind or anything like that. Uh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, where is that? Okay. I'm so confused. <laughs> Analyzing. Mm -hmm. Receiving a transmission from the Drake. Mm -hmm. Analyzing recovered item. So it is a cell phone. Data glutton. <laughs> An ancient communication device used on this planet it contains technology unknown to Kapai and it is emitting a signal even now. This is when battery power of phones was much, much better. <laughs> if I integrate this device into the Drake's communication system, I should be able to boost our signal strength. Uh, it looks like it's going to be an all-nighter for me. Uh oh, um, but there is still the matter of the clock that's going on here, so I might actually decide to leave this fruit here for a little bit later on, like another day, and yeah, just kind of leave that there, like get everyone back over to. Am I uh, am I in trouble here? <laughs> actually, I don't think so, because there is the uh, other ones of my party there. Oh, whoa, 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 you guy, you guy, what are you doing over there? <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Happy days! I spawned a ton of Pikmin. Oh, that went to the Reds? I thought I gave that to the Rocks. Well, I guess I didn't. And that was my recording test for the day. And also a gameplay video in like four months. <laughs> no critter left behind! Yay! I'm proud of myself! I can get that fruit some other time when I come back here. Don't worry! Don't worry. I just played that boss really poorly. As I said, I was rusty. I could've easily did that whole segment in the same day, but... Well. But well. No fruit collected today. Huh. Huh. Knowing this is waiting at the end of the day makes it all worth it. If only I didn't have to share it with the others. <laughs> 
And another day, another fruit juice drink. Good. We still have plenty of juice left. Yeah, I would have gotten a bunch more juice if I would have taken that delicious fruit back. But alas, alas, I didn't make it due to my terrible inefficiency and amateurish moves. <laughs> But we made it through day three with minimal casualties. We recovered the communication device that was inside the armored Maudad. According to Alf, this device contains parts that may expand the Drake's communications range. I've never seen him so excited. I'm more than happy to write today's report. Well, Alf examines the device. Sometimes he can be so diligent. Brittany. Woo! We're off! to see the wizard and save our game <laughs> <laughs> and with that i'm gonna end off the video here i think yeah this is probably a good time so i hope you enjoyed and i will see you later in the next video